Last night, Channel 2 Investigates showed you how one county commissioner was spending tens of thousands of dollars on Amazon, groceries, luxurious overseas travel, and his campaign vehicle, a Cadillac Escalade. 1700 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. That's not all we found in his campaign finance reports. He's buying high-priced stocks as well on the stock market, and he's charging plenty of meals to his campaign account. Investigator Mario Diaz back with another look. Airline seat upgrades, business class travel, luxurious stays at the Ritz-Carlton. County Commissioner Rodney Ellis enjoys them all, tapping into his campaign fund to pick up the tab. If I'm flying on my personal business, I'm going to fly business class if it's if and it's international. And you'll use the dollars that other people gave you to do so. Yeah. Ellis has not even started his 2020 re-election campaign. Have you yes. officially launched? No, I have not. But that's not stopping him from spending. Ellis is busy building up his war chest. Google. Yes. Apple. Yes. AT&T. Yes. Boeing. Yes. Those are some of the stocks Ellis's campaign is buying up. More than $1.5 million in investment purchases using campaign donations. If the market tumbles, you're up to creek. Uh, and that's the risk uh, that you take. But if Rodney Ellis is sitting here and a company that he has stock in is going before the county commission here, how is that not a conflict of interest? I have no concerns about any conflict of interest. Rice political science professor Mark Jones says one may arise. There is a potential conflict of interest. Managing a rich war chest appears to work up quite the appetite. Records show Ellis regularly uses campaign funds instead of his own bank account for meals. We counted more than 75 occasions between last July and December where Ellis used campaign donations for food and drinks. The vast majority listed as meetings, including 10 purchases at the Smoothie King, 27 at Phoenicia Foods, and one meal at Morton's Steakhouse for nearly $800. How does this all strike you? All of these don't pass the smell test. Bay Scoggin of the government watchdog, Texas Public Interest Research Group, raised concerns when examining Ellis's report. I think this is a chapter in the larger story of lax enforcement rules that really is problematic for the public's interest. Ellis says it is all legal, justified in his mind. It's how he goes about his political business. When it's time to go, I'm going to say it was one hell of a ride, and I hope I made a difference along the way. Following our interview last week, Ellis took to his Twitter feed and tweeted this image of his upscale vegan option restaurant with the line, Ellis campaign treating. Once again, Ellis says he spends his campaign dollars if he can justify it in his mind. Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.